Hey guys, this uh, video is meant to be a quick introduction to my new uh, robot coffee maker that I've been working on. In this video I'm going to go over some of the mechanical parts, the electronic parts, and some of the systems I've designed that, that helped make this coffee maker a success. Right here, you know, we have our uh, just a standard coffee machine. And I really didn't change this too much at all. Um, I cut away a little bit of plastic here, um, and I mounted a hinge in the back, and really that's that's about all I've done. Th this particular coffee maker didn't come with this uh, reusable basket. They wanted you to use uh, coffee filters, but um, I, I wanted something that uh, could be reused. So basically, um, I've got two stepper motors here. Um, the first stepper motor in the back is what opens and closes the lid and that's that's its sole purpose and the second stepper motor um, is what moves the uh, filter basket um, from the machine and into the washer and that's that's all that it does and I've got a I've got a couple of uh, uh, limit switches here that will uh, limit uh, or or stop the stop the motor when it's in the in the in the coffee machine and in the washer basket. Now this this washer basket, I went through several different designs, and this is kind of what I came up with. Um, I I tried using uh, water pumps at first to uh, just kind of spray down the inside of the basket, but but I found out that there just there just wasn't enough water pressure and I would get grounds that would stick in the in the filter so I really needed something that that provided a lot of a lot of pressure and what I what I kinda came up with was, was I was just uh, just experimenting at the sink one day with the uh, the, uh, the 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 hose the hose attachment and I found that just holding it underneath it and spraying it just for a few seconds did the job perfectly so I tried to try to devise something that would uh, utilize that sprayer and uh, and 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 not and, and be like a, a simple drain and enclosure so that you know I didn't I didn't get any water spraying out and there there weren't a lot of moving parts in this in this system. Uh, some of the other ones I designed, they had lids, and it, it was just a mess. So um, this this right here, I think, works great. And I don't know if you can see, but but right here itself is the uh, the, uh, the the sprayer. That's just a standard sprayer you you, you can attach to a sink. And then in here, I built in a little drain that just for now is just going into the sink. You know, it's just a pipe and here let me let me let me lower it down just so you can see what's going on underneath it and um right here you can see the sprayer and the drain and you'll see that this whole thing is on an uh, set at an angle so all the water in the grounds will uh just uh, f uh run right out the bottom of it in the back here you'll see the uh what controls my my water i have I have two different needs for the water. One is the washer, and the second is filling the, the the coffee maker. So what I've done is I've attached two solenoid valves to um, a line that's just running to my my uh, my water inside the house, and these solenoids will allow me to electronically control the the flow of the water into the maker and and the wash basket. So that's that's really about all I've done to the machine itself. Here's the electronics um, of the system. I uh, I just got it on a prototype board right now and um, I don't really have a dedicated power supply yet but I plan on putting this all in a in a real PCB and try to get a power supply that will um, provide me with uh, 12 volts for the solenoids and then five for the pick and for the uh the steppers but it's it's a pretty simple design also i've got a uh 
PIC 18F 4550 here that controls all my all my logic and I don't know if you can see it really well but there's just a simple switch right here uh, in total I've got three switches um, the two limit switches and then the start switch and that will just start the cycle um, over again um, I've got two mechanical relays that control the solenoids um, I I have a a solid state relay that controls the uh, the coffee maker itself originally I wanted to do so all solid state relays but um, I had a problem with uh, uh, with them not unlatching and um, I just went ahead and used these just just because I had them around but it it the the, the 120 volt AC devices they they uh, they unlatch they, they cause it to unlatch perfectly fine so I, I just went ahead and used it um, eventually I, I, I need to probably try to put the uh, the solid state relays in everywhere um, and then I have uh, two two uh, driver boards here they're uh, they're they're what's uh, driving the the two steppers so that about sums up the electronics and mechanics of the system here so uh, let's just give it a run gotta manually load the grounds in now so I'll just do that and now the grounds are in. Later on I'll, I'll, I'll have a system where uh, the grounds and the cream and all that stuff gets put in there but um, anyway um, this is starting the cycle. So it filled with water enough for that cup And in a second, it will start to brew. Looks like it's approaching the end. Now we're going to go into the, the wash cycle where it dumps the grounds and prepares for the next load Oh, well, there you have it. Fresh cup of Joe.